good blessing, good blessing, my brothers and sisters, and it's true. All praises to the Most High, through our Savior's name. Let's get our sword out the mud. St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick. All right, St. Patrick. Let's see. Let's see what it does. St. Patrick's Day or the Feast of St. Patrick. The day of the Festival of Patrick. Huh? The day of the festival of Pat Patrick. Go find a man. You can tell by the fruits, brothers and sisters. These traditions are wicked. Idolizing. Idolatry. Is a culture and re cultural and religious celebration held on the 17th March, the traditional death date of Saint Patrick, AD 385-461, the foremost patron saint of Ireland. Saint Patrick's Day was made an official Christian feast day in the early 17th century and observed by the Catholic Church. Hmm. And observed by the Catholic Church. All right. The date commemorates St. Patrick and the arrival of Christianity in Ireland. It's like Christianity is like <laughs> this religion is so deceptive. Christianity, you see. the celebration of the arrival of Christianity. Brothers and sisters, all it was is a better illusion. You see, was a cleaner way of how they was living. So they they took the truth, which is the most high of scripture. And once again they translated it and 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 you know used it to manufacture their own evil ways. You see? That's why in the book of Eli you know the act of the dude Played the, um, the evil dude that was trying to get the Bible during the whole movie. Right? Him. You see, he was wanting the Bible. Right? Because it's power. You know, you can use that game thieves. You can use that game to incorporate and man manipulate the minds. It's that powerful. Right? That's how they came to Christianity. It's like a new form, of, it was that form of thug life. You see? It was, it was a different way. It sounded good, but it wasn't the truth, which is Christianity. It says according to tradition, 
Patrick returned to Ireland to convert the pagan Irish to Christianity. Tradition holds that he died on 17th March and was buried at Downpatrick. Coincidence. Over the following centuries, many legends grew up around Patrick and he became Ireland's foremost saint. Come on, man. Come on, man. Coincidence. He was buried at Downpatrick. Okay. It says, according to tradition, once again, man, tradition, right? Tradition, which the Most High tells us to stay away from. It says Patrick returned to Ireland to convert the pagan Irish to Christianity. Your brothers and sisters, man. Take part in none of this wickedness out here, man. You know, well, hey, like I said, I, I hear a lot of, I know I didn't said this before, but I know I hear, you know, you hear a lot of what do you do about the kids and it's just for fun. No, no, it's not. It's not just for fun. And, you know, my kids will follow the laws and the commandments of the Most High. strongly advise that you do the same. Jeff brothers and sisters, man, it's set up to entice you, it's set up to, to get you to partake in this wickedness. See, Christianity, it needed, it's a cover of wickedness. B system. It's part of the beast. It's, it's corrupt. It's, it's division. It's not the truth. Jeff, brothers and sisters. And I got some. I got some there. I got some for you too on why. On why. Um, green is so important. The color green on Saint Patrick's Day. Of course, they say for the shamrock, of course, you know. But Jeff, brothers and sisters, man, I got, I got, I'm gonna share something, something for, I'm gonna share something. It's gonna be quite interesting. You know, but, uh, brothers and sisters, y'all stay prayerful.